central control room, the entire plant, right from the crusher section to, to the uh, clinker loading, is controlled from, from these computer monitors. Cement is a long-term business. Cement has been around for hundreds of years in, in the same raw material uh, form transformed into, from, from limestone into cement and there is no substitute for cement. No other binder for construction sells at $100 a ton. This market is going to continue, it's going to continue growing. You cannot go wrong in an investment in a cement company in a market like ours. We still have a long way to go before we have built all our roads and bridges and our ports and airports and, and our schools and our housing. And I think we are on an upward trend for the next 25, 30 years at least. What this means, at, at an average growth rate of about 10 to 12 percent, every six or seven years you need, you, you double the quantity of cement that is consumed. And a typical cement plant in today's, uh, uh, today's economy is about a million, million and a half tons. So you need one new plant every two years. I think we are on the right course. We have, we have established the capacity. This capacity, at the moment, we are only producing at, of, of the total capacity that we have this year will be about 50% of our total sales. As we ramp up more capacity for clinker and finished cement, we will begin to see the benefits of the expansion that we've carried out over the last five years. So next five years, we're looking at a growth where we, we move our sales from about 1.2, 1.3 million tons of cement to about 2.5 million tons and, and have our rightful market share in both Kenya and Tanzania of about 20-22%. That would be uh, uh, at least a minimum uh, uh, market share that we, should, we, we are aiming at considering that there are three or four other uh, multinational companies in the market and I think it's a fair market share to have. The origins of Arthur River mining were with agriculture lime. Yes. We, we continue to supply 40 years on uh, agriculture lime to many coffee estates, many, many other uh, organized sectors of, of, uh, of agriculture in Kenya and in Tanzania as well. About 12 years ago when the cement market was a little, uh, with a little low uh, with, the, with the downturn in the economy in 1999 um, to 2002, we decided to diversify into formulated fertilizers using uh, agriculture lime and our experience with, with the agriculture sector at the time. What we do with Mavuno fertilizers is to manufacture soil specific, crop specific fertilizers. These fertilizers include something like 12 to 14 different nutrients, yes. mineral nutrients which are not found in what we call the straight fertilizers like DAP or urea. And both DAP and urea are very acidifying and when the soil is acidic, most crops do not grow well and the yields decline year after year. We managed to reverse this with the new formulations uh, with, with, with uh, soil specific, crop specific Mavuno fertilizers. The irony is that Mavuno fertilizer costs less. Mm. You have to apply a little less mm. than the, the, the traditional fertilizer application rates and you get a much better, better yield. The fertilizer is much more drought resistant and even with erratic rainfall patterns, we're seeing a much better yield uh, with Mavuno fertilizers. Mm -hmm.